The interaction in the core is very important. So what you see here is your driving environment while you're sitting driving. Here, here we, we have then added the features to make it much easier. We have divided the, the, the interaction in the core in different groups. It's a totally new approach. We have worked a lot with extensive researches with, with, a, with customers driving cars, different brands all over the world. And we have created an interaction design office in Copenhagen, in Denmark, only for this car, to make sure that the interaction with the car is, is made as good as it can be for the human being. And with that we interact in three ways. We have the normal driver information model in front of you. You have the head-up display in the window, and we have a center stack display. That's a tablet like display for those of you who saw the car yesterday. But we then have another approach that you don't utilize all the screens at the same time. The one that is important is what you use now. That is what you have in front of you. It's, it's the head-up display you get information, if, and that is an optional thing. And then you, you have the driver information. And to that, you interact with the steering wheel buttons. So everything is in front of you. You don't have to lean over to, to the screen or do anything and touch and find any buttons. You can do everything with your hands on the steering wheel. You can use voice, you can use the steering wheel buttons. You can have everything there. And whenever you would like to interact with the center screen, you can do that. And you can do it by hand. And it's only a small touch of the screen. And it's a unique touch screen that is the one of the kind in the automotive industry. And it's totally revolutionary. And it's very, very fast. And we have layers on the left and the right side of, of the screen where you find the buttons and all the functions that you need to access. So only a swipe away, you find the buttons that you don't see in the corner. Because we only have the eight buttons that is on the lower part of the picture. That's the rotary arm and on the, the other ones. Because that is what is legal demand to have access directly to. Otherwise, I mean, how often do you, do you uh, for instance, uh, turn off your uh, traction control and turn it on off? You rarely do that. And why, why should you have that uh, taking up space all the time? And then you can just swipe, and then you get to all the buttons, and then you can also put the buttons where you would like to have them. So it's exactly the same as your smartphone or your tablet. You just push and hold and move it around and put it where you would like to have it. It works the same. And then on top of that, we have a unique thing. And that is we have an infrared touchscreen. That means that you don't have to take off your gloves in the big round to interact. If you have long nails, you can break with the nails. You can use a pen or whatever to interact with the screen. So you don't have to touch with actual finger as you have on a mobile phone or a tablet. That's the way we have this infrared. That's unique. And of course, it's here really integrated, everything. If you have the application, for instance, for instance the Jill app, you can find a restaurant wherever, you just press that restaurant, and it ends up in the navigation system, and the route is talking to that restaurant. So it's, we don't have it separated. Everything is in, in, in integrated in the system. So it is easy to use, and easy to operate, and it works smoothly for the customer. Now the Jill app won't come until you will tell that all the apps that are uh, in the course will be um, take the, the running in on the device. So you don't have that in the corner. So you, you must go to the restaurant we have the same for. So follow the route. And of course, being in a good environment, you need to have a good sound system. I mean, we have now created one of the best sound systems in the world. We have started collaboration with the Boris and Wilkins, the world's most uh, known speaker manufacturer that is uh, located in UK. They have a long heritage and they, I would say they do the best speakers in the world. They are in all the famous uh, music studios. All the Beatles re recording has been with the Abroad Studios. Abroad Studios has the, the speakers there. So it's, it's, a, it's one of the one most advanced uh, speaker manufacturer. And on the, in the car we have 19 speakers. We have a built-in subwoofer that is behind the ceiling in the rear right. So it doesn't take any space. It doesn't interfere on any occupant. It means that all the bass is spread widely through the car without having any extra bass in the rear seat because you're sitting in the rear speaker and you have the bass speaker behind you. And that is unique. And it's an open-air speaker. It's a unique one in the car industry. 
We have a uh, sound processing system that makes it that, so that all individuals have a good, good sound uh, to them. And we also have done a unique uh, sound processing system with uh, to create studio, and you can have individual creation, and also so we can recreate the sound of the Gothenburg concert hall. That is the concert hall in the Gothenburg area where one was built, and that is one of, that is one of the most renowned concert halls in the world for good acoustics that we can recreate. So you can see that later on when you drive a car, you can go into the sound experience, and then you can press the sound. And This is the environment you are sitting in on in all three rows. We have added things now that we were missing out before. For instance, uh, the, the uh, leaning possibility of the backrest in the second row. We didn't have any cup holder or armrest in the second row. We have listened to all the customers and we have added that. We continue to have uh, the, the integrated shy boot to push it in the middle position, in, in the rear seat. And then we have then the third row. The third row is uh, considered to be for adults. It takes adults up to uh, five foot six tall. So it's a uh, very spacious there. And we have uh, improved the, the traveling range of, of the rear seat, the second row. So it's almost uh, five inch traveling length now, instead of uh, or three inch before. So it's almost two inch better. So you can create more legroom for the third row. And the backrest in the third row is exactly the same size of, as on the second row. It's only the cushion that has been narrower. So you get the same support and you have good uh, support areas and the armrest and the cup holder in the third row as well. And then it's flat fold, one grip only. You don't have to move away the cushion. It's only flip it out or move it up. Very easy. And we have all of the side neck rest on all three rows. Exactly the same method. All the features, the function, the safety. And as you see here, we have a theater seating. So the one in the far rear, or sitting higher, and so on. So that one has a good view in front, up. And also the ones that are sitting in the, in the third row, they are more in, towards the middle. So they see between the heads of the one that's sitting in front of you. So everyone gets a very good view. And by that, you get a better air feeling from wherever you see it. Here are some pictures about how, we can, how it's accommodated from the above. Uh, we, we can fold the seats and can we create the uh, uh, cargo area of 85 cubic feet. That's quite big. I think it's the biggest, the biggest in the segment. I don't remember. Is that with both rows folded or just the third? That's both rows folded, yeah. So we then you go to with the car. So you easily fold up. It's, it's a lever on the top. From, from rear, uh, open the tailgate, and you just push it down, and uh, the uh, neck rest folds directly, and uh, then you just fold out. So you see it's more flexibility. And here in the picture in the third row, you see that it's moved into the center more, so you get a clearer view, and it appears to be a bit higher as well. And you really feel that when you're in there, and it feels much roomier than expected. We have been sitting there with the total management of the Volvo and the, with the overhead hook and so on and in the four rear and Lex Kessemark, the, the head of the uh, American market now, in the second row and me in the first. So that worked fine because I'm longest of the three. We have a very airy feeling. We have a lot of big windows in the car. We have not uh, the design, we have decided that the design should be timeless, elegant. And we would not have too much fuss in the sides and so on. And by that, we maintain the big windows. Otherwise, you know, the windows tend to, to fall down in the rear to be smaller. But we have big windows. So everyone in all three rows get a very good view, get a lot of area. And with a sunroof that is a uh, full, full uh, panoramic sunroof that is laminated on top, we will get even more roomy feeling and air feeling. And you have a very good view out. You see here, for instance, uh, with a, we have the door mounted mirrors, you get a good view between the A pillar and the mirror. But it's a mess otherwise, it's totally it's a big blocked area. So you get a much better view in this car than the old one and a lot of other cars. We say it's an uncompromising SUV. What we mean by that is that we, in all different variants we have, it's always seven seater. And everyone is sitting very well and positioned very well and we can offer all the things in the world, of course. 
We talked about the platform. Here you see the basic picture. Uh, this is the twin engine, the twin engine hybrid uh, that, uh, you see here. And we'll come back to that more. Uh, but the new platform started also in 2008. And by the new platform, we were able to, to also have a new suspension all over. And we have the modern uh, state-of-the-art dual uh, wishbone suspension in the car. Exactly as the, the best competitors has. In the rear, we have the integral rear link axle, but we have no coil springs. We have gone for the leaf spring, and it's a composite, and it's a reduction in weight, and it also frees up space in the cargo area, so we can have the wider seats in the third row, and we can also load more in the car. And finally, then, with all new platform, all new chassis, we have also been able to introduce air suspension. It's a four corner air suspension. It's developed within Volvo. It has the components from the most advanced uh, spring and uh, air suspension manufacturer, but it's, the chassis work is done within Volvo. The system works that it calibrates itself 500 times each second. And by that we can have drive modes, and drive modes that can have different ride heights depending on what type of drive mode we have. And then we also can have the off-road capability where we improve the height of the car with 40 millimeters. That's uh, 1.7 1, 1, 1 inch about. And we also can lower the back of the car for, for easy cargo uh, loading with uh, 2 inches. And then you have a controller in the front. The air suspension is optional.